Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. I thought I would post just a really laid back haul video here on Thanksgiving, kind of chill out. I'm imagining all of you in your jammies. You're probably still sipping your coffee, your tea, your hot cocoa, your eggnog. I don't know, maybe it's too early for that. Maybe not. Not if it's spiked, then it's definitely not too early for that, especially on Thanksgiving. So I have some goodies to share with you. Uh, some things that I picked up myself, some things that I received in PR, and so I will leave my PR items for the end. So if you're not interested in those things, you can just click off when I get there. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the things that I purchased myself. So I've got this big pile behind me because... <laughs> You guessed it, my room is a complete disaster already. And yeah, there's like not even room on the floor. All right, so let's start with, let's start with this. So I purchased something, Chanel.com, <laughs> what's new? And this was so odd. So I pretty much got the Duo de Camellias highlighter um, off of the site. I placed my order and I was so excited. I was like, oh, let me, you know, Instagram everyone that this is now available because I saw Angela Van Rose do a video on this and it was available in Europe and it wasn't in the US yet. And I figured it's either not coming or it's coming later. And finally it popped up. And so I placed my order. I went to go get a link for you guys if you guys were interested in this and it said coming soon. So I checked, I was like, oh, maybe I didn't get a, like an order confirmation. Maybe it was all like a glitch. Maybe I imagined things. Nope, got my order confirmation, got my shipping confirmation and received it. So I don't know if they just had like one available and I got that one, uh, but hopefully it's coming back. So let me stop waving it around and show you what this looks like. Oh, it comes with a brush on the outside here. And sorry, it came packaged in this box. And it has this beautiful like holiday ribbon around it. I thought that was really, really pretty. So I wanted to show you guys. Oh, oh, how cool. It has like the silver CCs instead of the typical white or even the typical red that they'll do for like limited edition or holiday stuff. So it's silver this time. Wow, oh my God. Can you guys even, you guys see that? Maybe it's too bright. Is that better? Oh my God, it has the most beautiful imprint on there. This looks like fabric. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then there's like these flowers in there, very faint. These like three flowers in there. And then it's like a duo pan. So there's like a little bit more of a gold powder on this side. And then one that's a little bit more pearly white on this side. Wow. I don't even want to put my finger in here. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, that feels so silky smooth. Okay, here's the gold side. That is amazing. Let me see if there's overspray. This side, this gold side definitely has like little micro glitters in there. I wasn't sure if it was overspray, but I'm looking at the part that I ran my finger over and no, there's still, there's still micro glitters in there. So I think it's in the powder, which is exciting. This feels so incredibly soft. Here is the white side. There is the pearly white side. That is such a lame swatch. I was being a jerk. I was kind of just like dragging my finger between the two flowers here. I'm sorry. Let me let me get a proper swatch for you guys. Okay. <laughs> here is more powder. And oh, isn't that pretty? Both of those are really shiny. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If they do a restock, I may get a backup because this is just too beautiful, just way, way too beautiful to not just have in your collection. That is so gorgeous. All right, that is the Duo de Camellias highlighter from Chanel. Now definitely follow me on Instagram. That's when I like to post uh, on my stories, like when new products like pop up, keep you updated, give you the 411. So I will definitely let you know, I've been checking the site often. It still says coming soon. It's very weird. I'm convinced I got like the one and only highlighter that was available in the US, just so, so odd. So I'll probably use this in like a trying new makeup video coming up. All right, this next product, I both love and hate all at the same time because this was such a pain in the freaking ass to get my hands on because it was only at Selfridges on the app for a little while, like two times, I think it was like restocked once. Anyway, finally got it, it finally arrived. I had people in like Qatar telling me that they had already received their palette and I still, had not. So it just arrived today. I figured, let me just open it up with you guys. I haven't even opened this up yet. So it comes in the typical Pat McGrath box. Sorry, I'm laughing because of how like salty I am about this whole release. Um, I'm hoping I, I like it as much as I like the pictures. So 
sits in the box. There's the card with the shade names. Typical packaging here. Oh, okay, it says Mothership Divine Rose palette on the back now. So this one is actually labeled, unlike the other ones that I have. So, oh, oh, this is very, very beautiful. I have to say the colors, the six colors on this side are a little bit richer and deeper than I thought. When I saw those promo pics, I thought this was going to be a very kind of like light, desaturated kind of palette, but there's a lot more oomph going on with these six shades. And then these are just, I don't even know if you guys can see the true color through the camera and the lighting because they're so duochrome -y and exciting, but those are her special shades or special baked shades. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is really pretty. Well, I'm definitely gonna be doing a dedicated video to this palette now that I finally have it in my hands. So I don't think I'll have this video up before I put this one up. So definitely keep an eye out for you know, a dedicated video to this palette, definitely subscribe down below if you wanna be notified uh, when it does pop up. Yeah, I was, you know, gonna rush and do a video for this, but it's already kind of late and I think it's already sold out. So anyway, a dedicated video is going to be coming up. Oh, but before we move on, let's do a couple of swatches here. I'm really curious about this shade. This looks so beautiful. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I don't know what I'm so excited about. That shade appears in the Mothership 2 Sublime palette. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. And then let's do this special shade that's right next to it. It looks, I don't know why it looks like sherbety orange, but oh, there. It actually has a lot of pink going on. Oh, that looks amazing. What? Oh my God. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Before I do a dedicated video, I'll figure out which ones are the repeats, but there are supposed to be four repeat shades in here. Victoria Beckham, I placed an order for her new primer. So this is the one that she did in collaboration with Augustinus Bader. Bader, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, I'm sorry, uh, uh, or maybe Augustinus. It's probably Augustinus Bader, and I've been saying Augustinus Bader, like totally wrong. Anyway, this is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer, and I, loved the primer that she came out with when she collabed with Estee Lauder. So I was kind of waiting for something like this and I think this is supposed to be kind of similar. So it's the Illuminating Complexion Cream. So it's gonna act as kind of a moisturizer and a primer all in one, which is great. And she's come out with two sizes. I got the smaller one, which is the 30 mil. And then I think there's a 50 mil. But I thought, let me just start with the small one, see if I actually like it. And I checked the ingredients before I ordered this because the Augustinus batter um, cream has like some acids in there that don't necessarily play well with my skin. So I just wanted to make sure that there weren't any, you know, salicylic, lactic, any kind of acids in here that could bother my skin. And from what I could tell online, there wasn't, but I'm just reading over the ingredient list now and I don't see, yeah, I don't see anything. So I'm so, so happy this should work for me. I'm just gonna hold up the ingredient list here for you now if you're interested. But it is also online on her site. So let's just take a look at what this is. It's heavy and I think the packaging is in line with like the rest of her stuff. Yeah, look at this beautiful bottle. It's glass, so black, and then it's got this like tortoise effect. Kind of looks very similar to her eyeshadow palettes. And it says Victoria Beckham there, and this cap, yep, just pulls off. Nice pump. I don't really smell a fragrance, which is not surprising. This whole Victoria Beckham beauty line is like clean beauty, no preservatives, no, you know, extra fragrances, anything like that. So I'm not really surprised. I think any kind of reflection you see is just the actual product. I think it's just very, very moisturizing. It does soak in nicely though. Like it's not too heavy. It's very nice. My hands feel super soft right now. Ooh, well, I can't wait to try this and I will definitely report back, but you know, it takes me a long time when it comes to skincare, um, but I will report back because I am very, very excited for this. and I'm gonna make it a point to use this every day. I will say though, I do wish it had more of that like gold tone like the Morning Aura did. And I really thought it did with the word illuminating in here, but that's okay. It does feel like a very nice cream. Next up, I purchased the new Scott Barnes stuff. I purchased all but one of the new palettes and I was just 
I was just very, very curious about them. The packaging was great. So everything comes in like this bubble envelope and then each palette comes in its own like little sleeve. Let me tell you, this palette, and this is the eyeshadow palette, is large and in charge, and it's very heavy. It's very, very heavy. This is made in China, and it's it's designed in the US, it's made in China, but here is the eyeshadow palette. So I got the more neutral one, and then this is the front here. And let's see, so this is just a sleeve, and then <laughs> look at this cover. From what I can gather, he's not a shy kind of person. Ooh, these are, these are pretty. Wow. Look at these shadows. Let's swatch a couple. This silver screen shade is like calling to me. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Gorgeous. That is beautiful. That has like a peachy shift to it. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Scott Barnes. Let's see. Let's do like a different finish. I'm going to do this brazen color up here. This is more of like a satiny metallic shade. Oh, they feel really silky soft. Ooh. Okay. So far, very impressed. Very, very impressed. A few of you have already requested like a video on his stuff. Just let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want a dedicated video to this. But I am definitely game. Let's just try a matte. <laughs> Poor matte shades, I never wanna swatch them. This one is muted, it's the lightest matte shade. Can't really see it, but it's right here. Nice, it feels very soft and it's not like overly powdery. That's really nice. Okay, well that is the eyeshadow palette. Oh, here's the name of it, it's called Snatural. And then I also got the blush palette and this is the Chic Cheek palette. Here is the back of the sleeve. And again, this is made in China, designed in the US. Ooh, I actually really like this. His name is like in pink. And then this one actually has like a magnetic flap here. I happen to like that a lot. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, I have to use this for you guys. This is like so summery, like fun in the sun kind of cheek palette. Whoa. Okay, we have to Swatch these two, the Mango Fizz and the Rosé. I'm already getting this packaging dirty though. All right, I'm gonna go into Mango Fizz and Rosé. My hand was still wet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Mango Fizz or the Rosé actually, but the Rosé seems a little bit more of a no-brainer. Wow, that Mango Fizz, Ooh. That is really something else. That is like fluorescent orange. So again, let me know if you want a Scott Barnes video. I will be more than happy to use these products. What fun. And then I got the illuminator palette. So the highlight palette, and then I got the contour palette. I am so curious about this contour palette because the pictures online look really warm, like, like orangey, orangey warm, and I know I know he does like a very warm contour, but I was like, that's not gonna work for everyone. Uh, but let's take a look. So this is the sculpting and contour palette. Oh, here's the back of the box. Again, made in China, designed in the US. Oh no, this actually looks not orange at all. Okay, thank goodness. I was really worried. I don't know if you guys saw the online pictures, but they looked like very, very warm toned. This does not. However, it does look very, very dark. Like all of these colors, well, at least these two and this one, and maybe even this one look way, way deep for me. But this is great. If you're like a makeup artist, this looks like pretty much covers the gamut. This carve color is the lightest one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, even the lightest one, I'm gonna have to be really careful with that. But we'll play around with this too, if you're interested. And then last but not least, ugh is the highlighter palette. I'm so excited for this highlighter palette. So here is the sleeve glowy and showy palette, the illuminator palette. There's the back. Here's the cover of this one. It has, look at that holographic Scott Barnes. That's pretty cool. Wow. Now these highlighters are lighter than I thought they would be. I mean, they've got this one 
and this one in here, but all of these, let me just, I think you can see better this way. These five are very, very like almost cool toned, like these really pinky shaded ones. This is really pretty, really, really pretty. Let's do Pinkaboo. Oh, these feel soft too. And Candlelight right next to it over here. And then Twilight Sand. Excuse me, holy smokes. That is beautiful. So Scott Barnes turned me and probably millions of others onto those Private Society highlighter palettes. I love the Private Society highlighter palettes and I'm just like kind of mentally comparing them on my head. These look a little bit uh, like thicker. The Private Society ones are a little bit more like sheer, a little bit more of like a gauzy kind of effect. These seem a little bit thicker. I won't be able to tell until I actually get them on my skin, but that's kind of my first impression. So yay, all right. Well, I'm excited for these Scott Barnes palettes. They look like a lot of fun and, you know, different, like the colors, especially the blush palette, look very, very different, at least for me. So I'm really excited to dig into these and play around with them. And then Bond Number no. 9 came out with three new colors and they called them like, or at least the, the sales associate that I work with over here at the Saks, she was referring to them as like their new plums, but they're, they're not very plummy. They're actually just kind of like a dark red, but there was one color in there that I really liked and I had to get it because Bond Number no. 9 is based in New York and so all of their colors are kind of based around New York City. So it's about either a, a street or a neighborhood. And this one is actually called Queens, which is where I lived before I moved here. So I kind of had to get it, but I just went ahead and got the refill because I have a ton, a ton of these cases at this point. So if you guys are not familiar with Bond Number no. 9, um, they have like a refillable lipstick situation. So this is what their case looks like, which kind of mimics their uh, perfume bottles. Bond number no. nine is like a perfume house. And so their perfume bottles look like this. And then this is like an old school New York City subway token. And then the lipstick comes out and this is the refill that comes in and out. I love the formula of these lipsticks. They are, for me, I think they're just absolutely magical. So I have quite a few of those cases. So I just got the refill. So the refills come in like this paper case, which is actually fairly sturdy. And then here is the Queen's color. Isn't that pretty? It's very, very like burnt, like a burnt red. And I just thought that was pretty because it, it's kind of just a little bit plummy, but it's more just like, you know, like a deep kind of like burnt red with, I don't know, there's like a little pink in there. I just thought the color was really, really unique. So that is Queen's. And then I did also get the um, Shantakai, the new powders and their new brush. Now I'm gonna do, I'm definitely gonna be doing a dedicated video to the Shantakai like holiday stuff, but I'm waiting on the lipsticks. So this holiday collection included this brush, two powders and three of their crystal lipsticks. So I placed an order for all of it and the lipsticks are like back ordered. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait. You know, I figured it wouldn't take that much longer. I'm still waiting for them. So let me just go ahead and show you these powders because they really are, oh, they're so beautiful. They're so, so beautiful. So Shantakai has come out with two powders. Uh, one is the face powder and it comes in this like pinky toned box. Just look at this box. This box is like everything. And then they also came out with um, a brilliant face powder and it comes in this gold box. I mean, just absolutely stunning, <laughs> absolutely stunning. So the face powder also comes in this like pinky mauve toned bag. And here is the compact freaking so beautiful. I just, I can't even stand it. <laughs> can't even stand it. And here is the face powder. Let me do a swatch. This powder is so soft. I don't know if you'll even see it, but I have it right here. And it has just the slightest hint of like a satin sheen. Isn't that just beautiful, just gorgeous. And then this other one that comes in a gold pouch uh, is more of just like a straight up highlighter. It's stunning. So it comes in a gold compact here. This has a different kind of formula. This one looks like it's baked and the other one looks like it's pressed. So beautiful. You see 
see that shimmer? Oh, it's stunning. So I'm definitely going to try this as like a finishing powder, this as a highlighter for you guys. And this brush, I'm actually very happy with it so far. I've been using it with like all these other products and it's it's actually performing really nicely. So uh, definitely want to show that to you as well. And as soon as those lipsticks come in, I will do a dedicated video, but I just want to wait for like the entire collection to come in before I do the video. So anyway, I hope that's a nice informative preview for you. Let me know if you have any questions about this down below, but this video is definitely on its way. All right, that is it for everything that I purchased. Let's go ahead and move into the PR stuff that I have received. So this big, beautiful box came from Laura Mercier and the little booklet in here tells me, oh, the uh, flawless, Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This I never tried, and there's other products in here to kind of make you glow. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Oh, wow, okay, so the box opens up. Oh, how cool. Okay, so they sent me two shades of the uh, Flawless Perfecting Foundation, the Foundation Priming Hydrating, um, the powder, this is their Translucent Loose Powder Glow, which is very glowy. It's very, very glowy. It actually makes a beautiful highlighter or kind of like a holiday party look if you want to put it all over your face. Um, a sponge, which I didn't even know that they made, so that's cool. And then their brush, which is like angled for your cheeks. So it has this like really fun shape there. It's supposed to like hug your cheeks. So cool. Thank you so much, Laura Mercier. I heard great things about this foundation. I just never picked it up myself. I think, was it Mel Thompson? Was she the one that loved this foundation? I hope so, because if she loved the foundation, then I know I'm going to love it too. So I definitely want to give that a shot. But thank you so much, Laura Mercier, for sending over this box. It is lovely. And then Cosbar sent over this, uh, goodie bag of a box for me. They're one of my favorite online retailers. I order from them whenever I can. And every once in a while, they send over like a goodie box to me. It is so, so sweet. And I just opened this up and showed everyone on Instagram what I got. So I, I already know what's in this box. This Kirkjian perfume, it's the Amorous Femme. So there's an Amorous Femme and an Amorous Ohm fragrance. So it's like the female and the male fragrance. Uh, counterparts and I was just in store sniffing these and they're so they're so so beautiful like amazing I, I pretty much love all of Kirkjian's uh, fragrances they're so beautiful um, so thank you so much to Cosmar for sending that over to me they also sent over this this works perfect legs skin miracle which my legs need a miracle so this is amazing. And the Orbe Serene Scalp Exfoliating Scrub. I love, love, love scalp scrubs. They feel so good. So I'm really excited to try this because I've never tried this one in particular. Alara Mercier Caviar Mascara. A Clay de Peau Eye Cream. I cannot wait to try this. I'm still getting through my Sicily Eye and Lip Contour Cream, but I am down, definitely down to try something from Clay de Peau. Let me just open it up. Oh, this bottle beautiful. So it's this eye cream of theirs. They also sent over some gummy vitamins, which I'm really excited about. These are the Hum um, Glow Glow. Yes, Glow Sweet Glow <laughs> vitamins. So they have hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and vitamin E in there. And I love gummy vitamins because I cannot stand those horse pills. I like can't swallow them. So I'm excited for these. And then they sent over two serums, one from Grown Alchemist and one from Bio effect. Huge thank you to Cosbar for this amazing beauty box. This is like the most amazing thing, <laughs> the most amazing thing ever. And I cannot wait to tear into this Kirkjian fragrance. It's, oh, it's just so, so beautiful. His fragrances are so like subtly complex. Like they grow on you almost in a way. I, I fall in love with them immediately, but I feel like, you know, you spray them and you're kind of left like, like wondering like what's happening. like. Oh, they're just amazing. They're just absolutely amazing. So huge, huge thank you to Cosbar. All right, and just a couple more things. M Cosmetics sent me their new um, crystal lip gloss and I love their lip products. So I was excited to see this product. Oh, it's like, oh wow. It's literally just like a crystal clear lip gloss. You know, there's something very genius about just a straight up clear lip gloss because they don't really make clear lip gloss anymore. And if you don't want to change the tone of your lipstick, but you do want to add a little bit of juiciness to your lips, 
this is great. Wow, the texture is amazing. Now I know she has the Infinite Lip Cloud, which is like a liquid lipstick. It's not, it's not quite as drying. And then she has the True Glosses, I think. Those are the ones that are like, kind of like a liquefied lipstick. I hope she comes out with glosses. I don't think she has them. The, the Crystal Lip Gloss. I think this is the one and only actual like lip gloss that M Cosmetics has. Thank you so much, M Cosmetics. This feels amazing. And then Good Molecules sent over their silicone free priming moisturizer. I'm excited. Well, now I have this one and the Victoria Beckham one to try out, but this looks great. This was another one. I was like, let me take a look at the ingredients. I just want to make sure it's going to be safe for my really sensitive, sensitive, bitchy skin, whatever you want to call it. And I was all clear. I didn't see any sort of like acids in there or any kind of um, oils that like clog up my pores. Um, so I'm excited to give this a shot. Oh, nice. Here is the bottle. And let's take a look at the texture here. It's a little bit uh, lighter than the Victoria Beckham. I can feel it already kind of like absorbing into my skin. So this one is probably a better bet if you have like oilier skin or you're worried about, you know, products kind of sitting on top of your face. Ooh, and it's much, um, it's much tackier. Ooh, so this may actually make a better like primer. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, I'm excited to try this. I'll just have to space out my testing a little bit, but I will definitely give this a shot for you guys and report back. Thank you so much, Good Molecules, for your priming moisturizer. I'm really excited to try this. And then last but not least, Kosas sent me a lipstick. And I was so tickled by this lipstick because the color name is Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so this card came in here and it says Vegas baby and it describes the color as a neutral nude and they suggest pairing it with smoky eyes and it comes in this like silver foil box and it's a kosas.com exclusive so you won't find this at kosas retailers here is the packaging it's like a matte white and it's magnetic Ooh, this is a neutral nude <clears throat> Ooh, how nice. Well, I'll definitely throw this into a trying new makeup video. So big thank you to Kosas for sending over their Vegas colorway over to me. Thank you so, so much. So that is it for this haul video. I just wanted to say that I thank each and every one of you so, so much without your support, without you watching my videos, without you subscribing, I would not be receiving any of these PR products. So thank you so much. Be well and be safe on this Thanksgiving. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.